The instruments featured in this Hello My Name Is video series are brought to you by Medline, Koenig, and First. Hello, my name is Atson Tissue Forceps. This is a very common forcep that you're gonna see for sure in your sterile processing career. And interestingly enough, this is also one of the most common instruments that goes missing out of surgical trays that will end up in the trash somehow and not make it back uh, to the department. So if you're gonna buy some extra instruments, your ads and forceps are a uh, great one to stockpile. In particular facilities, that's not a challenge in all facilities, but I know it's very common out there. All right. Anytime you see the word tissue in uh, the forcep category, you're going to want to be looking for uh, those teeth, right? And you can kind of see there very small teeth here at the end. This is a uh, two-one teeth combo on on your ads and forceps. Uh, and depending on your facility, you know, sometimes they will just call them ads and, ads and tissue forceps. Sometimes you will have ads and with teeth. And that's the tip off there. Again, this is it's a normal ads and with teeth, nothing too special about it. Um, in particular, this model is uh, four and a three quarter inches. Yeah. And that's measuring the proximal end to the distal tip. Anytime you're looking at forceps, like we've said in other videos, you're going to want to make sure that those jaws are aligned, that they're closing straight on top of one another, that you're not seeing any overlap as you close, that you're not hearing or a click as you're closing them, and not feeling any resistance. And then also, you're going to want to look at that uh, proximal end to make sure there's no cracking um, in that area because that's where all the tension is. If you use this over time, you're getting a lot of tension on the back end of that device. Get some focus there from our camera. There you go. All right, so that's the Adson tissue for sap. Um, the only other thing to mention about this is you do want to check those kind of serrations on the handle to make sure that they're clean and clear of any debris. And be careful in loading it into your tray. You don't want this device under any heavy instruments. Um, there are folks out there that will put tip protectors on there. And we see oftentimes uh, that folks will put them in, in the paper sterilization bags or in custom trays to protect those tips. There's a lot of variations of Atsons out there. You have brown Atson forceps. Uh, you do see Atson dressing forceps. Uh, there are some tungsten carbide versions out there, but you'll see special platforms. So um, the Atson category is kind of a broad category. And then your Atson tissue is one particular model in that broader category. All right, that'll do it for this episode of Hello, My Name Is. Until next time, keep fighting dirty.